five common skincare mistakes that you may be doing that's not adding any value to your skin. One is not cleansing. Now cleansing is the gateway to allow your skincare ingredients to work really hard for you. Cleansing should be done for at least 30 seconds when therefore you are there to make sure that all your, uh, the debris or the excess oils are removed to really make sure that your skin is ready to receive. The second one, which is also actually I would say part 1B is also related to cleansing is the use of wipes, skincare wipes, face wipes. Please do not use them. They are an absolute menace. They should really not um, be part of your skincare routine unless there's an absolute emergency and you've got no way that you can actually cleanse your skin. But they should not be part of your skincare routine. The second one is not using sunscreen. Now sunscreen is incredibly important to allow the prevention of penetration of UVA and UVB. Now we know that UVA tends to penetrate and break down collagen and elastin and that actually happens throughout the year. So regardless of whether it's sunny or not, the UVA rays will go in. So really you should be starting your, skin, your sunscreen as early as possible. The third one is uh, waiting for aging to happen before you actually start using active skincare. So we know that retinoids are the whole grail of skincare they have a multitude of skin benefits such as increased cellular turnover hyaluronic acid production collagen production and so much more so don't wait until aging happens before you decide to use your retinoids we lose collagen from us mid-20s thereafter and 30% of collagen is lost to our, through our menopausal years perimenopause and menopause so therefore um, use of retinoids at night are incredibly important the fourth one is actually not using antioxidants such as vitamin C. Now they are a powerhouse and really combined with your SPF can create an, uh, an added value to your skin protection. So using a uh, vitamin C on your skin will prevent free radical damage because they are there to neutralize free radicals. And the fifth one is using your humectants such as hyaluronic acid inappropriately. So hyaluronic acid is best used when it's actually on a damp skin as hyaluronic acid is almost like a sponge of water. It it needs moisture and it holds up to a thousand times its weight in water. So use your hyaluronic acid during when your skin is damp than when your skin is dry. I hope that helps. Keep glowing and stay amazing.